Scotland Simmons manager, how are you feeling? Nervous. You like heights? No. So what's making you go up to the building in the world? I think it's uh, it's as you go through life you've got to try and conquer your fears. That's what we do today. It's very important. It's a squad ethos. Darren Gillespie just joined the Scotland squad today. Darren, was this what you expected when you came along to join Scotland? Uh, definitely not. It's a bit of a surprise. Uh, good experience to go up to Tall's building. How, how, how do you feel about heights? I'm, I'm quite uh, good with heights. I'm not too scared. And uh, are you looking forward to the weekend? Uh, I can't wait to get a bit of rugby in. Yeah. <laughs> Tournament on top of the world's tallest building. How's it up here? Yeah, it's pretty epic. It's uh, some, some pretty good views. I think we've found it on our been up here on a good day, so it's, it's quite clear. You see a lot of sand from up here, but you also see a fair amount of Dubai as well, which is fairly interesting. What do what, you like about Dubai? It must be pretty interesting from a perspective like this. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, the, the, the buildings that you think are tall from, from ground level are, are uh, just tiny in comparison from up here, so it uh, puts everything into perspective, I think. And one day out from the tournament, how have the final preparations gone? They've been good. The uh, training this morning was sharp, so just everyone's excited and I'm really looking forward to, to getting into the tournament now and taking on Kenya first up. Um, so Kenya, Fiji and Spain, what challenges will those three teams present? Uh, they're all kind of different but kind of same at the same time, so uh, obviously the, there's a real physical physical challenge from the Kenyans. They, they've worked a lot on their sort of contact skills over the last wee while, along with a fair amount of pace. Fiji, just a, a fairly flamboyant team that you, you can't really pin down how they're going to play and what they're going to do. You just need to, to get in their faces and, and get them on the ground as much as possible and make things really difficult for them. And then Spain are a really impressive team just now that we've got a fairly structured way of playing, they go sort of wide to wide but they're, they're very good at it and they keep ball for long periods of time uh, and make you defend for numerous phases so hopefully we're, we're up to the challenge and we can, we can get some victories tomorrow.